name is Dr. Kevin McGovern, and uh, we're at Perfect Motion Sports Therapy here in Acton, Massachusetts. And today I'm doing some uh, pitching drills, um, maybe a little unorthodox. I'm combining um, some of my alternative training, which is in the martial arts, uh, when it comes to pitching. So for years I've been trying to tell Kenny that he has to get into a karate position and walk. And that was the last thing that Kenny really couldn't understand. Right? That was difficult for you to figure out what is this what is this crazy guy talking about when he means to, to walk, right? Find that timing of it, you know. Yeah. So I just decided today was gonna be a good day to give Kenny his first actual Kempo karate lesson. So this stance that Kenny is in is a Kempo T stance. As you can see, you know, this foot is pointed here, this foot is pointed here like essentially a T. So from here, if I'm a martial artist, I could, you know, I could spin, I could kick, I could do anything. It's a very powerful stance. It also looks a lot like, if we get into that full stance, it also looks a lot like a few other stances we may need to be able to be athletic. So from this T stance, if we put a block of ice here, martial artists have a tremendous amount of power to be able to do one quick movement and do an incredible amount of force through that. So what is pitching hitting golf, right? We load, we load up and we do one quick movement to deliver as much force as we can through our hands in the bat and the baseball, through the golf club for the, for the golf swing, or the hands of the pitcher, okay? So for years I've been saying the three movements we have to master, again, scapula depression, right? This has to be relaxed. A squat. And then the third, which people are having the most difficult with, is to walk. So I taught Kenny today the, the martial arts movement of half mooning, where I take my back foot and I'm moving it to deliver another blow. And light dawn on marble head, I guess, right? So Kenny, you've got to figure that out. Yeah, light dawn on marble head. So <laughs> let's get into our karate position. Let's show the audience from our T step from here as we sink back and we break this block of ice with that top. Boom. And you can hear the sound. Okay, so let's do that a couple times. And this is a fantastic drill. Leaning back, everything's relaxed. Okay, so people said, there's no way you should be moving your back foot to pitch. You need to end up somewhere like this. I call it the Nancy Kerrigan or the Olympic <laughs> skater pose, right? Because essentially this leg now is anchored, right? It's anchored. It's, it's actually pulling me backwards, right? No way in the world if I said, okay, Kenny, from the mound, I'm going to put a block of ice at the end of the mound. No way in hell would you do this. You wouldn't. You'd do this. So why aren't we doing that at the turtle baseball? So now here's Kenny going from the full stretch, incorporating scapula depression, our squat, and at the end, our walk through tempo. Nice and compact, very fluid, not accelerating his arm until it's in a downhill or a width gravity position. Now, can it go a little slower as you can until your left foot touches the ground and break that block of ice? He's gaining six, eight, ten feet closer to home plate. That ball's coming out of his hand. So again, great drill. T step, relax. We sink, we kind of glide back a hair to get weight on our back butt cheek, and then we just walk and smash. Do that over and over again. And that's my uh, Kempo walking drill for pitching and hitting and, and any, other, any other drill because this movement and we're, we're spinning off of that off of that front foot as I'm losing my earpiece. Spinning off of that front foot, which is where all of our torque, all of our torque is. If we're leaving this leg back in any fashion, we are losing velocity and we are losing power. Alright? So visit my website, perfectmotionsportstherapy.com or www, my new one, gametest.live. See you soon. Thanks. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you.